Hello everyone. In this introduction to C-sharp video, we are going to take a look at some simple methods. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe to see more and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. It really helps me out. Now, on with the show. So in the last video, we created a very, very simple C-sharp script, simply called my script. And we opened that up into Visual Studio and we explained what the class was for. Now, Inside the class, we have a couple of items by default, which Unity or Visual Studio will create for you. We have void start and void update. Both of these are known as methods. And what a method is, is a simple way of containing certain segments of code, which you can execute at different points, whether it be continuously throughout the runtime of the game, whether it's just once on its initiation. So in this case, void start, as the method is known, would only start once. And it does indeed give you a little indication here of what that method is for. It says start is called before the first frame update. So what that means is that everything within void start method will run as soon as the script loads up. After that, it will continue with whatever inside void update. As it says right here, it's called once per frame. And that means everything inside void update will constantly run. So, like I say, both of these are known as methods. A method can also be public or private, or in this case, have neither of those. If we were to change, for example, the start method to private, then you would basically have the exact same uh, script visually, at least in this case. The same can be said for public. Now, a good example of when to use a public method is when you interact with UI buttons. And UI buttons are something that I will cover later on in this series. However, we just need to understand the simple methods. A method can have almost any kind of name, as long as you don't create a method the same as your script name. For example, we cannot create a method called my script. It will cause an error within the script and it will not run. So as I said earlier, everything that would be executed within a script is contained inside a method. So if we wanted to create, let's say, uh, move a cube somewhere in our scene at the start of the script, we would place that line of code here inside the method. Now, if you ever do get errors with your script, it could be because you've tried typing some code outside of a specific method. Now, one thing I will say is these lines that you can see here are extremely handy. Those will help you detect where a method begins and where a method will end. If we were to type some code in here, and if we were to have some if statements, which would be nested, we would also have these extra little lines. So every time you see an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket, those two will be connected with the dotted line. So you can visually see where that method starts and where that method ends. Now, if you trek back uh, a couple of years, and go back to the days of MonoDevelop or Unity Script, you may find that um, it's not as easy to use in that sense. However, luckily, not a lot of development occurs with that old Unity Script or MonoDevelop anymore, as explained in the last video of this series. It was uh, abolished, technically, uh, some years ago. So that is basically what a method would contain. There are multiple other more advanced methods, um, but for now these are just the simple ones. I think you can probably also count late update as a simple method, and a way of looking at late update is basically update, but later, if that makes sense. It basically just means that after update. So there are many different types of methods, and you can also name a method anything you want, providing it isn't the script name or the name of a variable. So in the next video of this series, we will take a look at something called a namespace. And hopefully I will see you in that next video. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.